dead money. It takes you to an extremely dangerous area of the Mojave Wasteland. A one-way journey until your business at the Sierra Madre is finished. In normal mode, you'll encounter new traps, enemies, and new companions whose lives are tied to yours. In hardcore mode, you'll be fighting the environment as well. A toxic city that erodes health over time. Companions are more vulnerable. And so are you. Dead money is recommended for experienced couriers. Level 20 and up. If you up to the challenge, continue on. The Sierra Madre Grand Opening awaits and has been for 200 years. Sam, our hero, will seek out the radio signal in the bunker. Sierra Madre. Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining money luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Oh, my head. Are you listening? From now on, when I talk, listen, and follow my instructions. Play stupid, play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Oh. Collar? What are you talking It's like that boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of your world. Just needed some to him. Do answer, and the call will go off. Refuse, try and run, disobey me. I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept the situation, the better. Maybe you'd better tell me why I'm here. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino. You need to break inside. Ah, uh, ice. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, 
one cannot do it alone. I'm not alone. Round of all three other colors like yours. Color eight, twelve, and fourteen. Find all three and get them here to the farm. And we'll talk to one. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, I'll warn you. All your cause are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Why would you do that? Because in some respects, breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking the human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with quarters. Some are killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turn on each other. Once they realize the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they care nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. Dead? The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their marks, graffiti on the walls, and the victims they killed. Some trying to help left supplies and healing for others who came. They were warned. They were tracked out, killed by others with basic instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone. Some of them, when they forgot where the traps were, or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. Where's my key? The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. If you arrived with here, weaponless, well, this is not my intention. The casino, this filler, it takes anything within a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home, the bunker. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless, and the Sierra Madre security, in some respects, can help you. If you are resourceful enough. <sighs> okay, what do you mean by that? This place is well preserved. Few who came here ever return. All the treasures of the old world lie scattered about, virtually untouched. Search, hunt, craft what you can from what you find. The trash of the pre war era can keep you alive. Food, knives, or use them. Even the those toxins and the residue it leaves behind can be shaped into tools and weapons, gatherers as well. Also, there is one more thing in your possession a rifle that will keep you alive as surely as the collar will. Okay, what is this rifle? It's a whole rifle, a weapon I constructed when I arrived. I have since made superior models and modifications. For now, that tool will have to do until you find other weapons. And I suggest you do. The hollow rifle's ammo is limited. Still, it should serve well enough. I fashioned it from the holograms of the villa and used it against the villa's living inhabitants. Inhabitants? There's people alive here? Yes. Inhabitants. Avoid them if you can. They are uh, difficult to kill. But it has created them. bullets, explosions, energy. It can make them inert for a time, then they seem to crawl back up, restored. Perhaps it's the cloud. Perhaps something in their physiology. Well, what's the cloud? Is it this red smoke? The cloud Blanks the sky here. You may smell it in the air. Copper and sulfur. Burns the lungs and seeps into the skin. As for its origins, I'm not certain. The more industrial pollutants, something in the Sierra Madre structure, it is unique across the wasteland and deadly. It has kept this place reserved since the Great War. 
there any safe place for us? Anywhere shall come from the car. Inside buildings, any place not exposed to the outside. Anything the cloud has touched has preserved it one way or another. But only the holograms of the building truly remain. Okay, so I find the other three people with home colors and bring them back here. I downloaded the instructions and markings on your pit boy in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this. I'll let you know. I'll let all of you know. How am I supposed to find these people? You're a piece of rock called trash and you know, I'm not sure. It can latch onto the signal of the colors and tune into their frequencies. The bomb colors come with radios embedded in them. You can be stopped easily. It was part of design to listen in. They can even screen out white noise from the environment to allow greater monitoring. Who are these people gathering? One is a trusted ally. Obedient, call her unknown, although the caller helps. The other two, well, we'll have to see what the traps got. Any suggestions for who? I should get yes. Caller eight, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He is docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he tried to be a fear trap. Find him. He'll follow you. Call her or no. What's the FEV? A long story. FEV of Iris is the even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one. Turned him into a super mutant long ago. That's all I needed to know. If necessary, I will guide you through the village broadcast systems. If you get lost, be to the air and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio blog to your pit boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where wealth, excitement, and intrigue away around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort. Okay. That one's got a head on their shoulders. For now. Should never have set that radio signal on repeat. Something bad. Tastes like burnt wires. What's that? This is an unusual looking crafting station. As you approach, lines of tiny holographic items appear on the dispensing tray. Wireframes, schematics, and lists of consumables that this machine can assemble and hack for the consumer. There is a slot on the side with the Sierra Madre symbol. The slot does not look part of the original design. Let me see. Gather the others first. 
find me and we can talk. Watch out for the villain and inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. You can't blow them up or disintegrate them. Find God in the simplest of beasts. Hey. There we go. Oh. There we go. Okay, Sierra Madre armor. Alright, that's a whole lot better. Inventory. Got the weapons and the mines in today, along with the shotguns and the ammo, enough to defend the village if trouble breaks out. Sinclair is taking the world situation seriously, even all the way out here. Maybe more so because we're out here. Hate to think if someone got their hands on half of the stuff we have stored here. Enough military ordinance here to turn the villain into a minefield. Dispenser report. Dispensers are up and running. I'd 
microphones and everything else. We've had a few problems with them. I heard they'd been part of some World's Fair exhibit St. Clair had seen. So he contacted the researchers about the dispensers to see if he could use them here. Turns out dispensers do more than supply convenience items. If there's an emergency or the threat of communist attack, codes can unlock ammo and repair kits for the dispensers. Stored backups of the codes in the contraband room just in case. Speed 27, 16. Yeah, we'll stick with that for now. Hello? Sinclair did the rounds again today. Glad he left his ghostly entourage to the casino. Those walking light shows make me wonder why he's even got us on staff when they could blast us in a second. Otherwise, Sinclair runs a tight ship. Good to see him these days and times. Don't know how smart he is trying to make a resort to escape everything in the outside world. But rich guys can make it happen, even ones that have been hit hard like Sinclair has. Holding so Nothing much to report. Pretty quiet tonight, even from Fuesta de Sol. Imagine more of something. Casino probably has more than enough with the guests coming in tonight. Poor bastard. Set up the radios so I can listen in on the gala event when it fires up and left one out for the prisoners. If Sinclair doesn't want us to be too strict with the guests tonight, I may just toss the key in the holding cage with anyone we pick up and let them unlock the door when they sleep it off. Communications. Set up the radio room downstairs to broadcast through the speakers. Don't want to miss tonight's performance. The receiver down there is stronger than the desk radios we have up here. Stash some supplies from the evidence room down there to celebrate once my shift is over. Way I figure it, the rest of the guards will be too busy to check up on me. Okay. Door to the villa.
so we can sleep here. That's purified water. Dog helps those who help themselves. Oh, it says God. Absinthe, vodka, whiskey, scotch. Repair kit. Okay. Machine installation. We can read this in a second. Pins. That's me there on the table. The disc. My voice. Can't take any chances though. You may be some victim. Okay. Vending machine installation. Oversaw the street side vending machines installation today. All working, mostly, because the casino crew was running the show. Finally complained to the chief about the machines. They feel like a company store. We only get a few casino chips with the... Chief says he's not sure the chips were Sinclair's idea. Only if we had any problems with the machines, let him know immediately. Search and seizure. After another discussion with the Estada Soul crew, told Chief it would be difficult to enforce the prohibition list, let alone the searches. Chief had the gal on his brain since Sinclair put in construction of the village. More important than patting down the construction crews for liquor and kims, as long as they didn't hurt anyone or each other. Got a little hot under the collar, Chief did too, told me to walk it off. This all stinks. Chief's barely got time for me. Now Sinclair's turning a blind eye to the things in the middle because his friend's running the show. No more parking tickets. One good thing about this assignment no more riding parking tickets. Sinclair's let out. 
country so narrow, the cars can't even come into the villa. Resources being what they are, he may not want folks waste gas coming here. Get that on traffic noise, too. She says it's more than that. Says, declare one of the villa to be reclusive. As long as I don't have to worry about double parking snobs or crisis gas hogs clogging the villa, I can care less. wonder how he expects folks to get here, though. It seems extreme, even for privacy. Command or Hey, an NCR emergency radio. Outside of NCR operational area, relocate and repeat transmission. Uh, okay. your voice. I'm the voice of reason. I sleep sometimes, down in the basement, in the cage. Now that I'm awake, Dog goes back in the cage. Dog knows I'm here, but can't do anything about it. I'm his conscience. Keep him tame. Keep him from hurting us. Doing foolish things. I've been trapped in here for some time, and you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. You have multiple personality disorder. Some trauma caused this. Trauma? Yes, in a manner of speaking. Do you see these wounds of his covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm. He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me. When all I try to do, he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. Why did you lock yourself in this cage? No. Why did I lock him in the cage? I locked him in because I could feel him getting hungry again. There wasn't much time. If Dog roams, he gets into trouble. Eats things he shouldn't. Listens to others he shouldn't. So he's safer in here. We're safer in here. I hoped if I locked him in here, the one he obeys would come for him. Instead, I get you. If you weren't expecting me, who are you waiting for? Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre, riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Follow the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. 
woman she's am the same as the old man you're not him any more than I am dog but the color around your neck you're an extension of the old man's grasp clumsy perhaps but a tool yes and once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does and then you'll be him not just his hand so this old man, what do you know about him? Elijah, human, weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure and madness. To me, he's simply the old man. The dog, he is master. His name meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty and scorched by the sun. Scorched by the sun? The old man, this Elijah, tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' cry was to fly too high. Elijah, Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. Well then, what is he doing here? Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story comes to this shining, poisonous grail, this jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him, because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. So you're the one who knows how I got to the villa? Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you drags you here. So you brought me here to the villa? Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the waist like a brahmin at the whip? No. Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, dog fetches. You were in a man trap, and dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When? I don't know. But it must have been recent before the cage why do you say that i don't remember you that isn't surprising what is is that it was when dog was out of his cage free hungry he knows not to eat anything he catches in the traps after that however so he dragged you here you got spared dog must have fed after you arrived. Once he was fed, that allowed me out of the cage and put him inside. Do you remember how long you were out? Uh, no, I don't remember. I only woke up when my pit boy went active. Must have already been in the cage. Already had the color in me. Your luck dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. I had other questions. Of course you do. And so do I. I was looking for someone with a car like mine. Where's yours? It's close. Closer than I'd like. Dog's been into things, needs to think before he eats, chew before he 
swallows. He's eager that way. Now the collars are part of me. Inside. I can feel its electronic heartbeat clicking and burning down below. Like before. It was cold and heavy before going in the cage. Now you're here, and it's pulling and kicking again, tugging like a leash. Interesting. How the hell did you or, or whoever eat one of these collars? Hey. Segmented, they look like nothing more than metallic rad scorpions. And if they're attached to neck flesh, warm, red. Dog doesn't care what's on the body he's crushing in his hands. He'll mangle it, twist it, make it fit until he's full. Dog can't help himself. Hungry. Greedy. And now the collar's inside, alive again. And we're trapped here. Until it goes cold. If that collar inside you is active, I didn't switch it off. Really? Yet it led you here to me. And now you're here, and it's burning a hole in my guts. Maybe it's crying for its owner. I had other questions. Of course you do. And so do I. You wouldn't have locked yourself in there without some sort of key let you out. The key? Why, it's the old man. The one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. If you have the key in there, the old man can order a dog to open the cage. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? Well, yeah. I can play his voice. I have an audio log from him on my pit boy. You don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage and you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... Calm down. Follow me willingly, and I won't do it. No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing. Then keep walking until my cover goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal. Forever out of reach as you die. I can't convince you I'm not here for the Sierra Madre or the old man. So I'll prove it to you. Prove it? Words are worthless. I have the power to let Dog out of his cage. I'm going to prove it by not doing it. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though Dog is more docile, easier to control, you may regret this. This place, this place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets. He is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, a shell is difficult to fight in. What do you mean? The inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, 
disintegrate it if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, the fighting will be far more difficult. Even if Dog is more helpful, we can manage. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yes, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Okay, well then let's get out of here. Very well. Lead on. God has given you the In My Footsteps perk. This perk grants you a bonus to self, as well as the ability to step lightly around place traps. There's a seal. This wouldn't be terrible. a little tough to think about. It's getting really hard to do. figure it out between all these. Darkness.
Yeah, I think we go with switch learner. God. If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Ah. Uh, that's a question for you. I'm sure you do. Uh. I need to switch back in between, back and forth between voices. All it takes is the right command. Whenever a dog hears the his master giving orders, I go back in the cage. So that leash on your wrist and the one on your neck. I won't truly be free to express myself until every trace of that voice is destroyed. Still, if you ever want to speak to me, bark my audio log at him. The one in the police station. That'll call me out. And what does that make him go away? Dog is afraid of me as long as the master isn't around. Oh, well, that's enough for now. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that, that is going to be a fine place to go ahead and end the episode for today. We've recruited our first Tice member. Dog, but God. If you enjoyed the story so far, please consider giving us a follow here on twitch.tv slash Jeff the Narrator 469. Or, if you're watching on YouTube, you can find us there on YouTube under Jeff the Narrator. It's certainly not the new beginning we hoped for, but it's the one we've got. Now, we just need to escape the Sierra Madre. Until next time. Uh, you may think about it. But until next time, keep telling stories.